Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here, and welcome to my advanced underground house tutorial. I hope you guys stay and watch the whole video. You'll learn how to make this house block for block. It's really awesome to live in and can sustain you for a long time with food, beds, and whatever. Let's get started. The first step for your underground house is to hollow out an area that's 14 long, 4 high, and 5 wide. Uh, the length that it is can be longer than 14 depending on how many little rooms you want to make, but I have chosen actually 15 long, not 14. And you're going to need stone bricks, you're going to need oak wood, all the oak wood type blocks like the plank, the slab, and the stair. You're going to need glowstone, glasses, torches, and much, much more, but I cannot fit them in my inventory. So start off by placing logs in your corners going up and down. This is going to indicate that there are supports on the sides. And how you want to get up and down from this base is you can add a ladder and you can get up and down right here. But for this version, I'm going to use it sealed like you're just living under here. You can make a tree farm and whatnot. Anyways, you want to go ahead and place the walls with oak wood blocks and the ceilings with oak wood blocks. And then on the floor, you want to do stone brick like this. And so your whole room will look something like this. And I'm going to do that and come back. And voila, we are done. We have the stone brick floor and the oak wood ceilings and the supports in the corners. So on the wall here, I am going to do some cool glowstone lighting, my signature sort of thing. Uh, all these torches are just temporary, just for lighting for now. Uh, some of them won't be, but for now, all of those that are currently here are. I am going to add stairs to all the corners here, and then I'm going to do this. Everywhere else, I'm gonna add glowstone. I really love the way this looks. If you're wondering what the texture pack is and everything, you can check the description. I have all the information there. And then you can just fill in everywhere with glass. And yes, I know the stairs don't fit, but hey, it looks awesome. And let me go ahead and repeat that design. And if you want to, you can watch again. So stairs in the corners, break everything else, put glowstone. Not sure how that wood already got back there. Is there something else? No, I thought I was running into another previous build. I was like, wow, that's crazy if that actually happened. And then I'd have to sadly destroy it. Anyways, not sure why they filled those in like that. But then you just want to fill in everything else with glass. And you have your two lights. So let's just go ahead and evenly space out these torches. These do add light, but obviously in the middle they're not gonna. So we're gonna do one, two, three. So we're gonna do a light there. Three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Blink, blink, blink. And we should have them all lined up. So right here, we are going to do the entrance to our first little room. This is going to be our bedroom slash chest area. Again, you can really do whatever you want. Let's just go ahead and space these out one more apart and build them straight up like this. We're gonna do them three high and then up top, we're just gonna build them across. And then in the corners, we're gonna do stairs like that. And you can just put your torch back and you can keep your torch there and we can go ahead and just do a log like that and then you want to open up your room so back here we are going to do the bedroom area so let's just dig it out I don't know let's do two that way so it should be one two three one two three and let's just add some temporary lighting in here and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna do a stone brick floor and we're going to do the oak wood ceiling but this ceiling is only going to be three high instead of the usual four I'm just gonna dig out this area I'm probably gonna go one more back and then I'm gonna repeat the same sort of basic design all of these rooms are gonna uh, have the same design except for the farm that's gonna be a little bit different so we'll just put these in the corners and do the oak lo oak not oak log oak wood plank ceilings and everything and I will be right back and there we go, we have some cool areas in here and we're just gonna do some temporary lighting with torches. We may actually leave this here because it may add a ton of lighting. But anyways, we are going to do some fancy lighting in the corners here. Actually, no, not this corner, it's gonna be on that wall. This corner is gonna be a cool little area for chests and whatnot. So let's go ahead and grab some chests and then let's grab some furnaces and we should be able to pull this off. We're going to need half slabs up here so that the chests open. And we're going to need more chests here. But before I do that, we're going to back it with some oak logs. Not oak logs, oak wood planks. Like shown here. And then we want to do the same thing here. And on the floor, you want to do the exact same thing. 
Actually, you could do stone brick, that would probably look best. And then some furnaces, and then of course on the sides, you don't want to leave those as stone. So let's break those, and like that. And you have a cool little wall, and I'm going to repeat that on this side, like that. And then over here, we're just going to do a really cool design. So let me go ahead and grab some stairs here. And then we're just going to dig out uh, that big of an area. And we will put stairs in the corners. And then we'll do some slabs for this one, make this one more roundish. And then go ahead and just put your glowstone everywhere. I really, really love the way these look. I just absolutely love them. Can't get over it. And then, of course, do your glass. And then in the corner here, and right here, we're going to do a blue orchid with a flower pot. My signature sort of thing. Boom, boom, flower, flower. And then last but not least, we're going to have our bed. And then we're going to have maybe some books here and then maybe another little personal chest something cool really like the way that looks let's just go ahead and grab a pressure plate let's see which looks best we can sort of play around with it here let's see wooden or stone i think the stone looks awesome so i really love this room pretty awesome pretty easy to do let's get on this side and make the farm so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make the exact same entrance i'm going to hollow out a room about the same size you guys don't need to see me do that and then we'll get to making the farm i'll be right back and there we go we are complete with room number two this is going to be the farm this is nine by nine so one two three four five six seven eight nine this way and then across, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine both ways. I left the floor as stone because this is going to be the farm area. So let's just take some grass. You can get grass with silk touch or whatever, and we're going to make that the floor. And then we will figure out some awesome little farms in here. We can do wheat, we can do pumpkins, carrots, melons, everything. I'm going to do probably do some sugar cane in here. And as you notice, we are going to need some lighting because it's kind of dark in the middle. So... Let me just finish this. I know it's probably tedious to watch. It looks almost like a golf course. Why is this so loud? I'm sorry. I know you guys can't hear it. I have some weird sound card and it's hard to record the sound and my voice. But it's not the end of the world. You guys know what that sounds like. It's like ch 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 So you probably don't want to hear that. Anyways, glowstone. And we're going to need the glass. So let's find the center of this room. Should be right around there, right? Let's just check it. You can just always build out diagonals. And yes, this is the center of the room, so let's just go ahead and break that block out. Make sure it's the center, yes. And we're not going to leave it like that, obviously we're just going to break out the center here for a moment. And then we're going to fill it all in with glowstone. A little 3x3 thing, then put some glass up here. Just something to give it some light, and I think it looks nice. Let's grab some water buckets, and break the sides over here, and over here. And then right here, you want to just put water, so don't do what I just did. Just regard that, put water. Boom, 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 boom. Water, 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 water. And then you want to put your grass back, and that way you can put sugar cane here. I know it does grow faster on sand, but I'm just going to use uh, grass just because I can. You can use dirt if you'd like, it doesn't really matter, it doesn't make a big difference. But you know, you can't plant sugar cane you know, anywhere else, so it's nice to have it on the sides there. And now you guys have your sugar cane done. So then uh, let's find the center again. So we're standing on it and we're going to put some water here. And water is a 4x4 four four, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this whole room is covered by that one piece of water. That's why I recommend 9x9. Nine nine. We're going to grab a hoe. Let's just grab a wooden one. And then let's just go ahead and break everything in here. Not break it, but till the soil. And really, you can make your farm any size. I don't know what just happened there. My mouse just, like, exploded. And then we're going to grab some seeds. We're going to grab melon, pumpkin. We're going to grab carrots, potatoes. And potato. If I can spell it. And then we're going to need some bone meal. And then let's just do... Let's do the melons over here. So these will grow. And let's just bone meal all of them. Boom, boom, boom. Let's just grab an actual melon or two here. 
and let's just go ahead and place them. And so now that will be where our melons will be, and then we can do a row of carrots, a row of potatoes, and a row of wheat. A row of carrots, potatoes, and wheat. And then carrots. That was wheat. And now your farm room is done. I think it looks awesome, pretty cool, and you still have your living space. Now we are going to do the enchanting room. So I am going to do that right now. And I'm going to do, do it like the same style exactly. Except over here is where the entrance is going to be. And again, you have a three space in between. And then, yeah. So I'm going to dig out the room and everything. I'll give you the dimensions. I will not leave you guys in the dust. It's really, really simple. So I don't want to like bore you guys. I'll be back in a minute. All right, so I started making this room and I realized I could not expand it over because our room is right there. So I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this wall just be adjacent with uh, what I've dug in. So like this. And then we're just gonna have the enchanting room in here. So I'll give you these dimensions momentarily. Still working on everything over here. But this is where our anvils are gonna go and then we'll have the enchantment table be somewhere over here. So the enchantment table will take center stage like right there. Right, and this is how I sort of design rooms. You guys get to see some behind the scenes action, am I right? Let's just grab a bookcase. Let's just go ahead and grab the enchanting table. I'm not going to stop the recording. I think we should be okay on time. Again, I don't want to make a huge boring video for you guys. I try to keep the parts I show you interesting and informative. I don't want to bore you guys to death. And if you are enjoying this tutorial, please, please, please leave a like. It shows me that you like the video. If you don't like the video, leave a dislike. It's your decision, and tell me why in the comment section below. Anyways, guys, can you guys give me some ideas in the comment section below? If you want to see a specific type of house or whatever, go ahead, let me know, and I will make sure to make that sort of house. So, or underground house, or a barn, or whatever you want me to make. Just please, I need ideas. That is what drives my videos. And, yeah, so let's just go ahead and finish this. Yeah, it's just interesting seeing you guys comment. I don't know, it's just weird. Like, ever since I've started, I just love reading you guys' comments. It shows me that you actually watch and interact, and I don't know, it's interesting. So, a boom and a boom, and we're going to put the enchantment table right here. We're gonna put slabs there, and then we can do the books. Actually, let's just do the books on the wall, and let's just do that. something like this and then I don't know how much it takes for a full enchantment table but I am gonna grab some glowstone here and some glass so I really need some light in here it's really dark let's just go ahead and dig this two back like this and then let's just fill it in with glowstone and we can have glass glass not there glass 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 and cool, we have lighting, isn't that awesome? And let's see if this is full, so let's just grab any sort of pickaxe here. See if we can get 30 levels. 24, totally not 30. So let's add these corner ones, and let's see if that's 30. Yes it is, so awesome, we have our enchantment table. And so let me give you the dimensions for this room, because I know I didn't. So those should be, why can't I, but, It'll click does not work when you have a tool in your hand. Good to know. Anyways, guys, here are the dimensions for the room. I have not, you know, obviously finished it yet, but this is one, two, three, four, five, six across. And lengthwise, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if you needed those, now you have them. Let's just go ahead and do my standard support in the corner here. And let's grab some torches and do that there. And then we can add support in this corner. And obviously that corner is kind of impossible, but it's it's okay, it's all good. Now let's grab some anvils and we can put those right there. And then we can grab some chests and just have a couple of chests over here. And actually let's just do a double chest there. And maybe some more chests over here, double chest, double chest. You wanna utilize your space nicely. So I think that's a good enchanting room, and last but not least, let's actually finish the ceiling, guys. That might be helpful. You do not want to have all these weird stone blocks randomly. I almost forgot that. That would have been highly embarrassing. 
let's just place everything here. Boom, boom. And our enchanting room is completely finished. So last but not least, we're gonna have our brewing room, which is gonna have the nether wart. It's gonna have some chests. It's gonna have some brewing stands. So I'm gonna make an entrance to that. I'm going to do the same thing I did here. Uh, one, two, three. And build it up four high. And anyways, guys, I'm gonna make that room come right back. And there we go. We have a five, I think it's one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four, five. So it's a little five by five room off of here. So you're gonna have four along this wall, three along this wall, and four along this wall, which doesn't seem right. But the reason it's like that is because these aren't in the corners of the room, they're actually on the edge. So we are going to do some nether wart farm over here. So we're going to take some soul sand. We're going to take some nether wart. Nether uh, wart, it looks weird. Where is it? There it is. And we're also going to need some of these stairs. So to do my signature nether wart farm, we are going to want to replace these walls with that and that. And then up here, we want to do stairs. And let's just go ahead and place that there. And then up here, you want to do glowstone. And then again, just replace everything you can with wood where it will be seen. And then we can just put a layer of stone brick here. And then you put your soul sand here. And you put your nether wart. And when that grows, which you can't really bone mill nether wart, which is unfortunate, but that will grow into a beautiful nether wart farm. That'll be awesome. And right here, we can grab some brewing stands. Brewing stands. And then we're going to need some chests. And we can finish off this room with a bang and finish off the tutorial. So we are going to dig this wall out one. And then we're going to put some stairs up top so the chests on top can open. And then you want to replace the back. These oak logs. Totally not logs. They're planks. I lied. We're going to do chests here, and then we're going to do a stair and a brewing stand. And that is the finale. I'm just kidding. We are going to make it look pretty. Let's take some oak leaves. I already did this once out here. All you have to do is dig this area out, put some oak logs behind it, put glowstone on top, and boom, fill it in with leaves. And let's go in here. I already put one there. We're going to put one there. If you want to, you can put this under it to make it look more realistic. And you can have just elite bushes everywhere or wherever you want them. It doesn't really matter. I just decided to put them there. I think that I thought they looked really nice. And then they fit in over there. But right here, yeah, why not? We have some room. Let's just do a little bit of a, a bush thingy. I'm not even sure. I think it looks nice. Anyways, if you guys don't like it, you don't have to do it. Uh, let's take some paintings here. Might as well just add some decor to the room. Let's see if we can get some scary ones, right? Yeah, spooky, spooky. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like. Subscribe to see more tutorials like this and more. I do above ground, underground, floating houses, whatever you can think of. The farm is coming along very nicely. Uh, not sure why that happened, but... Wait, is there water there? Huh. I, I, I have no idea why that happened. Anyways, if you guys want to see my Twitter, the link to that's in the description. You can send me the t pictures of this build or any of my builds. Again, subscribe to see more tutorials from me. Link to the texture pack and shader pack is in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you on my other videos and on my newer videos. I hope you subscribe, become part of my family. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.